YouTube. What's going on, everybody? Hopefully, you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. But today, we are rocking out with a Twist Scarf Chiyu team that also features Sunny Day Murkrow. This one should be fun. Trying to grab some wins with it today on the rank ladder. Let's get after it. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Also, want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Tempo VGC. Thank you so much for leaving this team over on my Twitter. I'm excited to use it. Hopefully, grab some wins, but definitely go check out his channel. Link will be down in the description below. But this team also features one of my favorite support Pokemons of all time. We got like Clay Grimstone. Absolutely amazing. Makes your team super bulky and just just really clutches up like the whole match. Because once you set up the screens, they're there for eight turns. Eight turns is a while. It's pretty much the whole match. Like I said, it makes your team super bulky and allows you to win a lot of the battles. But we got Espathra for our first Pokemon. Got the speed boost as its ability, the leftovers as item, Rocket Protect, Calm Mind, Sword Power, and Dazzling Gleam. Really liking this move set. Really like Espathra on the rank ladder. Grimstarl is going to be our second Pokemon with the Light Clay and the Screens. We already mentioned that already. And then it's got Sucker Punch for first turn priority and Fake Out for flinches. Chiyu is going to be our third Pokemon. Obviously, in Series 3, at this moment, Chiyu is an absolute beast. We gave the Choice Scarf to make it outspeed pretty much every single Pokemon. Then it's got Heat Wave, Flamethrower, Dark Pulse, and Terra Blast, which turns into Grass because that is its Terra type. We got Fluttermane. Obviously, you can't really have a Chiyu team without Fluttermane. Fluttermane is Chiyu's best friend in Series 3. It's got Protosynthesis, the Life Orb, Dazzling Gleam, Protect, Shadow Ball, and Ice Wind. I'm really liking this moveset, especially with Ice Wind. You can grab some Speed Control with it. We got Murkrow as our fifth Pokemon. This is another support Pokemon, and this Pokemon is here for multiple different reasons. It's got the Focus Ash, and it has Prankster. It's here for some uh, Speed Control with Tailwind. It also has Sunny Day to actually boost Chiyu's damage, and it grant Weather Control, say if we're going up against a Rain Team. It also has Heat Wave to do some good damage in the in the sun. And last but not least, it has Haste to cancel out all stat changes, which is going to be really good to go with going up against Dantozos or bulk up Cerule Edge teams, or even bulk up Annihilate teams. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be my boy Golden Go with the choice specs. Good as gold as its ability, and I can make it rain, Shadow Ball, Terra Blast, and Trick if we want to hand off this choice specs item. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent code is at the top right-hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on out and rank double ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Choice Scarf, Chiyu, and S Pather team. First match coming at you guys. We're going up against a team with no legendaries. Not one. They're rocking a very, very strong team, though. They got Indeedee and Armouge, alongside Bax Caliber, Great Tusk, Talonflame, and Fluttermane. Gonna be a little scary, right? That seems a little tough. We might want to grant some speed control with Murkrow. That could be really good for us. We could also go in with, say, Grimstarl turn 1 start setting up the screens. Because screens are going to be very beneficial to us. So I'm kind of leaning towards that, right? I'm kind of leaning towards that. I'm terrified of the, what's it called? Of the uh, Armourish and DD. But I'm going to go Grimstarl. I'm going to go uh, Chiyu. I feel like that could be very, very strong considering we have the dark moves. We can set up the light screen at the same time. I'm looking at it all around. I really do like that. So I'm going to go in with both of them. And then I'm also going to go in with probably Fluttermane. <laughs> Obviously, Fluttermane is going to be good. And then I'm thinking Espathor in the back end. Espathor can be very good up against the Bax Caliber, up against the Great Tusk. I just think it's a very strong Pokemon. Plus, if I want to protect and get some uh, speed control here, it could be good for us. So I'm with that. We have Stored Power, but mm, that's really not going to do anything unless we start setting up the Calm Minds. But still, I like Espathor here. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in our first match. But yeah, indeed the armor is obviously a little bit of a problem, but with her lead, I feel like we should be fine. Two dark type Pokemon, can't get hit by the expanding force, so actually I'm kind of hoping they lead it at this point, because I have a really good lead up against it. Plus I can set up screens, kind of get Chiyu rolling, start dropping dark pulses into them. Really solid for us, really, really solid. So let's see who they end up leading, and it is going to be Indeedy Fluttermane. So to go Indeedy Fluttermane, definitely a light screen is our best friend here. So I'm just going to pop a light screen, and I might even just dump on Indeedee. I might just dump on Indeedee. We could Terrasalize into Grass here as well. Grass would not be a bad Terrasalization. But I could also Fake Out. Actually, no, we can't Fake Out. Light screen, 100% our friend. So I'm going to do that, and do a Dark Pulse? Do I Terrasalize? I think I'm going to Terrasalize the Dark Pulse. I think Chi is going to be a great Terror type for us here. So yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. And Terrasalize, I am going to throw a Dark Pulse into the Indeedee slot. I Pretty sure he has armor in the back end, so I'd love to keep at least one of these Pokemon for that armor. 
But right now, our boy can't really do much. Our Grimstar can't really do much up against the Psychic Pokemon because it only has Sucker Punch. And Sucker Punch cannot hit in the Psychic Train, which is on the field right now. But I'm going to end up terrestrializing my Chiyu, going straight grass here. I'm just not dealing with uh, the Fairy moves doing crazy amount of damage on me, even though it's neutral and it would still be neutral. I just like this. I just like this type in here. All right, I have to go for terrestrialization. I'm going to Dark Pulse, and this should KO. Yeah, see you later. So we absolutely get rid of that thing. And I probably shouldn't have terrestrialized. I, I thought Fairy was super effective up against Chiyu, and then I realized it was part fire too. So... It would have did the same amount of damage, regardless of terrestrialization. So we pretty much just waste our Terra. We are Choice Scarf, so we're going to do uh, more damage. We're not more damage. We're going to outspeed most Pokemon. And we're going to see what they want to go into from here. So I could set up a Reflect, too, if they have physical attackers in the back end. So let's see who they opt to send out here. And it's going to be the Tusk. So the Tusk comes out here. I, I'm down with the Tusk. I'm down with the Tusk. I don't know if they're going to terrestrialize it. They might not, but Reflect has to come out from us. Which I do, and then just throw another Dark Pulse. I'm choice into it. This little Dark Pulse into the Flutter main slot. We'll set up the screens, we'll let both of our Pokemon die out, and then I think we're fine here. So the ops to protect the Tusk. That's totally fine. So I get off the Reflect, we're going after Flutter main with this Dark Pulse. Should be able to do a nice chunk of damage to it. Maybe even KO it, right? Huge, huge amount of damage. No KO, but we get the Flinch, which is big time. That is big time right there. That is big time. We can't really do anything else with Grimstar, so I might just save it. If Armors is in the back end, we might just want to save it. Do I go into... Or do I just let it die? Do I go into a Pokemon, or do I let it die? Because an EQ might come out here, which could be scary for us, right? I say we just let Grimstar die here. I say we just let Grimstar die. <clears throat> we'll just click Fake Out. <laughs> Screw it. We'll just click Fake Out. And then we'll just go for a Dark Pulse. Because we can't really do anything else. I might as well just let him die. We might even protect the uh, the flutter main, but we have nothing. We can do nothing with our uh, with our Grimmsnarl. We can do absolutely nothing with it. Again, obviously we could swap it out, but I just don't think there's a point swapping it out. I just think our back end Pokemon are gonna be better off being full HP, so we just let Grimmsnarl die here. So he ends up terrestrializing into Fire, which is a wonderful typing for him. A beautiful typing for him. So I was hoping that the fairy would come up clutch for us. The close combat's gonna fly here. So he's gonna drop his defense, which I actually really like that he opted to do. Drop that defensive stat. He opted to drop the defense. The so Chiyu drops out here. Grimstar's not doing anything. He's actually just gonna die to this gleam or moon blast, whatever Flutter means throwing out here. Gotta get down with it. So actually tearing there with uh, Chi Yu actually forced him to go in that close combat, which I kind of like, because we know he's not sashed. We know he is not sashed. And that lowers his defense. So from here, we're going to Espathra. I'm going to place it on the left, and I'm just going to place this one on the right. And from here, I'm thinking of just protecting Espathra, getting the speed boost, and then uh, maybe double protecting here. I could definitely double protect. I could Icy win. I mean, this Flutter Main's not faster than that Flutter Main, probably, right? Actually, you might be. Are you fully boosted on speed? Oh, yeah, you are. That could be really good for us. Hmm. I mean, you could go for Protect EQ. I kind of want to calm mine here. Get the stat boost going. I'm with that. We're going to go for the Calm Mine, and I'm just going to Shadow Ball for the KO here. I want to get rid of Flutter Main here. I think my Flutter Main should be able to outspeed this Flutter Main. The opposite of protect. Yo, this could be a good turn from us. He protects the tusk. Does my Flutterman first? It does. That's a huge turn from us. That pretty much just won us the game there, I think. We get rid of his Fluttermane. He protects, wastes another turn, and we set up a Calm Mind boost, which is going to boost our special attack, special defense, and boost our stored power move. The stored power goes up based on how many stat boosts you have. It's just amazing. That is just amazing. Loving it, loving it, loving it. And we get the speed boost. Over. Oh, baby. Three of them. So now I can protect again the boost stored power again. Oh, Espathra. I'm loving it. You also have leftovers, which is great. Let's see. Final Pokemon is going to be Armors. Army Armors, who cannot terrestrialize, which is, which is huge on our side. Which is really, really big. He could protect here. Um, I think I'm just going to protect, too. I think I'm going to just stored power you. And do I protect you, or do I... 
just straight up go for the Shadow Ball. Because Shadow Ball will KO you, no problem. Because he might just protect EQ, which could be a thing. And I, at this point, I kind of just want to get rid of you. And I think he's going to protect the armors, so. Now he just goes for the EQ, so he's just going to deal some damage to his armors. That's his plan. Weak arm rip, boosts its speed. Oh, wow, actually, that's actually a really smart play. Actually, a really smart play. A really, really smart play. So we'll see how this one plays out here. Expanding force able to come out here. Oh, no. As Panther is able to eat. Wow, that's scary. That's actually really smart there. So we're power coming out here. How much damage are we doing here? We're almost KO'd. We got leftovers. I'm going to go for another speed boost here. I'm just going to protect here. Wow, this is wild. This is wild. So we'll, we will eventually be faster than this uh, tusk here after this protect. And do I just Gleam? I don't think Gleam can KO. This is such a good match, yo. This is such a good match. We just have to be able to eat up a shot. And we have to be able to read a protect. So hopefully one of them actually protects this turn, to be honest with you guys. I'm actually really hoping that. So I have to go for protect. And I have to target down one of them. He opts to go into the heat wave. We should be able to eat up a heat wave. We have screen set up too. Headlong rush. Oh, that's that's scary. That's scary. We might not be able to eat up a headlong rush. We should be able to eat up a heat wave. S Panther might be able to cut this up for us. Loving you, S Panther. We should be able to eat up a heat wave. Oh my god, speed boost out of control. How many turns left in screens? Thing is, if he protects that what's it called? That tusk, we pretty much lose this match, right? Do I go for the Gleam? No, Gleam's not going to KO. Gleam's not going to KO. I'm going to go straight after Tusk. I'm going to hope that the Tusk doesn't protect. That That's game. That's game. That, that just lost me the match. Unless he misses his Heat Wave. Oh, no. Dude, that was such a good protect. That should just went out of the armors. Miss your Heat Wave. Miss it. Heat Wave lands. That's exactly what we needed right there. How are we going to play this one? We, we need armors to miss an attack, right? We need armors to miss a heat wave. That's, all, that's the only way we win this. So I'm just going to go after the tusk here. Legit the only way. Wow. The protect comes out from the tusk last turn. So I could have just ripped into it, into it last turn. I'm surprised it actually protected that one. And that's one of the reasons why I didn't think it was going to protect. Because it did not protect the turn before that. So kind of tough. Kind of tough there. Man, you got the showcase as Panther here though. Match not over. They can miss the heat wave. We can we can still win this match, but dude, we should have won that one. Should have went after the armor. Just took it out. But I was scared of that headlong rush coming in here and just dumping on me. So we'll see what our opponent opts to do here. It's gonna stay in here. Sword power is gonna KO you. Miss the heat wave. There's a chance that you can miss the heat wave. He could just go into expanded force, which I would do. But you never know. You never never know. Sword power. Actually, we might be able to eat that up. No, we don't. Oh no, he has all the boosts with it. Smart play by him. Smart play by him, just going to sword power, not risk missing that attack. And we're starting off 0-1, but a solid match here, match number one. Let's hop into our second, look for a first victory. Second match coming at you guys. A little upset that we didn't win that last match, considering S Panther was thriving, but we're looking for a first victory here. Going up against a Shen Pao and Dragon Ball team. Seen this team a couple of times on the rank ladder. Really, really strong, very, very fast as well. They have Fluttermane, Arcanine, Palafin, Amoongus. Like I said, this team's a real deal. Definitely the real deal. I could go into Chi Yu as the lead. I don't think that's too bad, bad especially with a uh, choice scarf with it. Could also bring Flutterman. I could just take speed control with Murkrow, which might be my play. I might go Chi Yu Murkrow, maybe set up a Tailwind, start throwing heat waves left and right. Start kind of getting after it that way. But I am scared of the Arcanine. Arcanine can come out here and really kind of do me dirty, right? Palafin's here as well. Hmm. Do I like these two? Yeah, I like speed here. We're going to go into uh, Fluttermane, and then last but not least, do we go Espathra? Espathra is not bad. I don't mind Espathra. Or I can go Gold to go with the choice specs. What moves do you have? Do you have Power Gem? You do not. I would like Power Gem on that. I do still like Golden Go. He's not bad, but the Dark moves, mm, Sucker Punches, yeah, doing me dirty. So at this point, I'd rather just go Espathra. Really did well in match number one. Hopefully we can bring it in here and actually get the win this time. Very, very tough, because I felt like I played so good there. I should have known that the Tusk was going to protect, too. I should have known it. I should have known it. I knew that right away. Protected like four other turns. Should have just 
been like, yo, you're protecting, get on out of here. But the headlong rush probably would have KO'd me, right? EQ did a lot of damage onto us. Headlong rush would did uh, even more damage. But he ends up going into Shenpowski and Flettermane. So I already outspeed these guys because I'm choice. So instead of setting up a Tailwind, I kind of just want to set up a Sunny Day, right? That boost energy, you are. Do I Terra here? I don't know if I outspeed that thing anymore, so I might want to Terrasalize. But you know what? I'm just going to go for Sunny Day. And I am going to Terrasalize. And I'm just going to go for the Heat. Yo, Heat Wave in the Sun. Stab with the Special Defense Drop. And it's going to be super effective on the Shen Pao. I like it. I mean, I think Shen Pao might opt to swap for Arcanine. Which would be a pretty good call. But we'll see what they want to do here. I'm going to opt to go for Terrasalization just because I think Fluttermain might be able to outspeed me with that booster energy boost on speed. But I don't want to just take a fairy move straight to the chin and kind of die. <laughs> you know, it, that'd be a problem. That'd be a problem. I know Shen Pao sometimes rock a shard, but I don't think this one's going to. But he's going to Terrasalize here as well. And if that's Fluttermain, we know that we outspeed. And it is Fluttermain. So we outspeed that Fluttermain, which is great. We outspeed that Fluttermane. And I know we outspeed the Shen Pao. Unless he goes for a Sucker Punch. Which is a possibility. So Sunny Day comes out here. We're setting the sun with the Murkrow. Setting the sun. We just need to land his Heat Wave. Which we do. Beautiful. Doing some crazy damage. Bringing Shen Pao to 1 HP. Give it a burn just so I can KO it at the end of this turn. Give it a burn. No burn. Ice Spinner's going to fly into Murkrow. Murkrow's probably dead in this, right? Oh yeah, we have Sash. So Sash just go up in the air turn 1. Sash or Sash. And he's gonna die to this gleam. Now you go for a moon bus. You opt to go for the moon bus. Into the Murkrow? Wow. What you think I was protecting? Definitely thought I was protecting. That's fine. Murkrow got off the sun. Chiyu is thriving right now. So from here, I'm just gonna go into a heat wave and then I'm just gonna calm mine. I'm gonna start boosting my S path through here. Might as well, right? Because if heat wave lands, it picks up the easy double KO. So I can start calm mining and boosting my S path at the same time. So keeping our heat waves thriving. Let's get after it. Probably a Sucker Punch might come out here. Into Chi Yu. That's pretty much it. Or an Ice Shard if you have it. But I don't see this Shen Pao Rocket Ice Shard, right? I see it Rocket Sucker Punch, so. Well, we'll go from there. We shall go from there. Probably going for a Sucker Punch up against my S Pather, right? That, that could be the possibility. Definitely a possibility with the Psychic Typing. The opts are going to Arcanine here. That's totally fine. So Arcanine comes out, you're gonna intimidate special attackers. I'm cool with that. Let's see what Shen Pao opts to do. Opts to protect, that's fine. We're calm mind boosting. Which I really, really like. Then I can just start stored powering into the uh, Arcanine. Ooh. I'm um, with this special attack drops are down. I really like that. And yeah, that did a nice chunk of damage to Arcanine. Big time. Big time damage. And then we get off that calm mind. So yo, S Panther, I'm loving this book one in today's video. Easily setting up calm minds. We're putting it in great positions to set up calm minds, and then on top of that, at the end of every single turn, it gets a speed boost. That's just so big. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go for the stored power here, try to finish off Arcanine, and then just opt to go into a heat wave. I really like where we're sitting. Sucker Punch comes out here. We're able to soak. That's actually big time that we soaked. I kind of forgot about the Sucker Punches. Arcanine dodges that. That's totally fine because Arcanine should go down to the stored power. And we should be thriving as long as there's no more first turn priority moves. I kind of forgot about the Sucker Punch, even though I was talking about it last turn. So luckily, S Panther's bulky enough to eat up a Sucker Punch from Shen Pao with its ability on the floor. Cool, cool, cool. How did I forget about that? I don't know how, but we got lucky there. I don't know how I forgot about that. I was legit talking about it. I was legit just talking about it. Sometimes your mind just draws a blank for a quick second. But Amoongus comes out here. I could psychic that down. There I use Terrasalization, and we know we outspeed the Fluttermane. Yeah, this game is pretty much wraps, right? It is wraps. I'm going to double down into the Fluttermane. Actually, who outspeeds who now? They're both considered plus two, because I think Choice, uh, Choice Scarf kind of considers itself plus two. And I think you should be faster. I think E both moves KO, so I'm just going to store power you, because you seem to be a problem, and then just heat move across the board. So Espathar ends up outspeeding. Sword Power is going to take out the Fluttermane. And the reason I did that was just in case the Heat Wave missed the Fluttermane. We can get rid of the, the big threat. But now it's pretty much GG's. He just has an Amoongus on the field. Heat Wave is going to connect. Sh should say see you later. It does. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Match number two in the bag. 
Come on, man. That's too easy. S Panther thriving out here. Same thing with Chiyu. We're one and one. Let's hop to a third. Look for that winning record. Final match coming at you guys, and Ting Lu is going to be a bit of a problem, right? Ting Lu is out here dropping special attack all on the field, and my whole team is special attackers. So, again, going to be a little bit of a problem. I might leave Grimmsnarl here alongside S Panther. Try to, try to set up another combine because combine has been so good for us. So I think that is going to be our lead. I'm actually going to lead that. We're going to lead Grimmsnarl. We're going to lead Espatha. Try to get off fake out combine, then set up screens after that. But they also have Dragonite for first time priority. Could be a little bit of a problem. Got to bring in Chiyu, obviously. And then last but not least, Golden Go or Flutz. Or Flutz. I mean, Arcanine's a little bit of a problem. And Golden Go with the Shadow Ball can do a little bit of work onto it. I want to go into you. But the problem here would be Fluttermane just dropping you with the Shadow Ball. I mean, what's your turn type? I think it's water, right? It is water. You know, we're going to bring Golden Go in here. Are we going to bring Golden Go? We're not. We're going to bring Fluttermane. I lied. We're going we're gonna to go Fluttermane just because of Tinglu and Dragonite, right? We need more of like a fairy support on this. So that's going to be my best bet here. Lock it in. Lock it down. Let's grab ourselves a win here in match number three and try to grab ourselves a winning record because I've been playing really well with this team. As Panther has been absolutely shining here in today's video. First match came in hot there, almost pulled off the victory with the combine boost, all that good stuff. Pretty much lost to a good protect from our opponents, and then second match just dominated. We combined it at the perfect time, set up our stat boost, it was game set match from there. Really the only problem with this team would be like going up say against like a Shen Pao. I would say Shen Pao with a Dragonite and then maybe like a Ting Lu in there. <laughs> that seems like it just absolutely rips into this team. But other than that, I love this team and I'm loving that player card right there. Double Eevee, looking adorable. Love it. I love it. I love it. So they're gonna end up leading Team Lu and Arky Arcanine. Uh, that's that's fine. I mean, I guess I'll fake out the Arcanine, right? Probably your best bet. Maybe do I Terrestrialize the? That's Pathro. I think we're fine. Vessel ruined a little bit of a problem, but I'm going to set up the combine. Just get that boost out. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna also go for the reflect. We're well, not reflect. We're just gonna go for the fake out right now. Then we'll go from there. Then I'll probably set up a reflect next turn, or maybe even a late turn. Probably more so a reflect. I swear, if this Tinglu has Fisher, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> that could be a problem. I'm trying to think of like Tinglu has dark moves, but really the only dark move it rocks is Ruination. And that's a set amount of damage. So I'm not too worried about the super effective dark moves coming into my S path over here. I'm gonna calm mine, get my special attack, get my special defense boost, and then I'll get the uh, speed boost on top of that, and sword power can absolutely rip. Arcanine's gonna flinch, and Tinglu, what are you doing here? A heavy slam, that's fine. Grimstrong's able to eat, and now I think I set up the reflect, right? Where do I set up the light screen? What other Pokemon do you have? Reflect, definitely a play. They got a Zoomerel, they got Dragonite. Fluttermane's the only special attacker. So, from here, I can glean. I can glean. But I think I'm just gonna store power and try to just get rid of some of Arcanine, right? Yeah, so reflect coming out here. Sword power coming at Arcanine. I get that uh, my special attack is dropped, but I have a boost. Plus, sword power is going to be boosted pretty well here. Probably not going to be able to KO, but still a nice chunk of damage to come out of Arcanine. Blur Blitz now flies. We have a flex set up. Espanther soaks pretty well, but Heavy Slam's going to come out here and finish Grimstone, right? Grimstone gone. No, you go for the stopping cancel. Should be able to soak that. You do. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So I could actually protect again here. I could go into a protect and just start sucker punching, or I could set up the light screen. It's really up to me. It is really up to me here. I definitely want to protect you. I don't think I'm just sucker punching Arcanine. Yeah, let's do as much damage as we can to Arcanine. I might opt to drop a Glee next turn once I bring out the Chi Yu. Because I'm hoping, this is what I'm hoping. I'm hoping Grimmsnarl gets off a little bit of damage. They take out Grimmsnarl, and then we kind of just go from there, right? We bring out Chi Yu next turn. And then we have Espatha doing some nice damage. So Arcanine Ops Protect. Yo, can you take out my Grimstorm, please? I really need Grimstorm dead here. I really need Grimstorm dead. Can you just Heavy Slam in the, in the Grimstorm? Go for an EQ. Okay. This should KO Grimstorm. This should say bye bye Grimstorm. I know we have Reflect, but still it's Stab and it's like 36 damage. That's all you really need. Just take out Grimstorm. Grimmy Grim, I love you. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure. So from here, what's my play? What is my play? Because I think we can soak up a Flare Blitz, or we can just KO Arcanine first and foremost. 
Uh, yeah, Chiyu's gotta come out here, correct? Or do I just go into you? Nah, no, Chiyu's gotta be here. Chiyu has got to be here. I'm gonna throw out the Chiyu. And I might Terrasalize and just go for the grass move, right? Could be the play. Could be the play. Just door power you. Get rid of you. And then terror, terror blast into you. Yeah, Ting lose a problem. Ting lose a problem, so I'm gonna go after him. Plus Arcanine can't protect, and if it wants to swap, it's fine by me. Do some big damage to it. So I'm gonna opt to Terrasalize slice here. Getting after the Ting Lu. We're just hoping Espatha can eat up whatever Ting Lu has to offer. And then we go from there. Because I would love to get off at least one more turn after this with uh, Espatha. With his store power. Because store power is boosted really, really well here. So we're going to see how much damage this can actually do. This should KO, right? Yeah, that KOs. But I'm talking about the, uh, the Terror Blast right here. Because I'm hoping it does half. But I don't think it can do half. A lot of things lose are vested. They are really, really bulky on the special defense side. So we're going to go for Terror Blast. And it does about half. That could be good for us. EQ is going to fly here. As Panther's able to eat, she was soaking that. We like that a lot. And I get another speed boost. So store power is going to be able to do some work. We're just worried about Dragonite coming out here. And we know it's going to be Dragonite. It's going to be a problem here. Dragonite's a little bit of a problem. Dragonite is a little bit of a problem. And now you go with Zumo. I'm a little worried about that because obviously, uh... Obviously, what's it called can come out here. Aqua Jet. But I think I'm just protecting you, and I might just throw a Terror Blast into the slot at this point. Because if you don't Terrasalize the Zoom route, we, K we can KO it. Maybe not KO it, but still do a nice chunk of damage to it. So again, Aqua Jet, it's a problem. We don't want Aqua Jet coming out here and just taking out my Aspatha. But with this Protect, we get a little bit of Leftovers HP. And we might be able to soak with Jaws Ting Lu, too. When you going in Dragonite, going in your final Pokemon, Fluttermane, it's Fluttermane. Okay, I don't mind Fluttermane. I don't mind fun because I have stored power and I would love to just take it out. If I can land a stored power, let's see it later, Flutterman, unless you're stashed. Which you might be considering. Oh, that's great protect. Considering you didn't boost your energy when you popped out here. So, hmm, what is my play? I think they end up terrestrializing, right? Because they didn't terrestrialize yet. They did not terrestrialize yet. So, I think they might just terrestrialize the Zoomerill. At that point, oh, I'm choosing the Terror Blast. I'm choosing Terror Blast, but I'm still just going to store power you down. And I'm just going to still Terror Blast the slot. We'll see We'll see what they want to do. I'm choosing to the Terror Blast, which I really like, especially because Ting Lu's here. But Terrasalization could do me dirty. A lot of them are just straight Fairy type. Some of them are Water. So it's either Fairy or Water. So we're either going to be super effective or neutral if they want to Terrasalize. But if they don't, we're just going to be super effective. And we'll do some big damage because we have speed right now here, too. It's a solid match. Really solid matchup. Really, really solid matchup. And we have... Who do we have in the back end? It's our Fluttermane, which is going to be good. Going to be good for us. Going up against a Ting Lu, who's already half HP. Arcanine's really low on HP. I do like it. But out comes Terrasalization. Is it going to be Fluttermane? I'm kind of hoping it's Fluttermane. It is going to be Fluttermane. Fluttermane's going to come out here. And we, if this thing's not Sash, I'm pretty sure this thing's dead. If you are not Sash, you are a goner, Fluttermane. So Aqua Jet comes out here, and we soak that. Thank you, Leftovers, for giving me that HP. Sword Power comes out here, and of course, you are Sash. Lovely. Sash comes out here. Terror Blast flying. Terror Blast your KO. Zoom around, no problem. Let me say bye-bye to you. Yeah, okay. Um, Here's the problem. Espathor's dying. You're probably Gleam, right? Yeah. Espathor dies. Flutter me. Or Chi Yu survives, right? It does. Okay, that's big, because Chi Yu's outspeeding everybody here. Dude, this is coming out to the wire. We got our own Fluttermane ready to rock. I think our Fluttermane might outspeed their Fluttermane unless they're fully boosted with speed. I mean, our best bet is to just take out the Fluttermane with our... With our Chiyu, right? Because we know Chiyu outspeeds. But from here, yeah, Daz and Gleam's going to fly. We're going to go into the Terror Blast. And he may opt to protect them. No, he just cancels battle. Wow, gives up like that? I think we would have won that one, but still, our opponent canceling battle is crazy. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. A 2-1 winning record. Gotta love it. Espanther was hands down the MVP for today's video. Absolutely love it. Nice little off-meta-ish Pokemon pairing it up with the Chiyu and getting that combine boost. 
man this thing was fire it was absolute fire but like i said two and one winner record love this team and got to use every single pokemon except for one except for golden go you guys seen plenty of golden go across the channel we'll definitely use them eventually in another video but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that bigger subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spend sponsor today i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody